Well, I had to take Brian and Dan back to the airport yesterday. What a great few days we had. But man, it's quiet today, which sometimes is a good thing. But we just had a super time encouraging each other, building each other up, getting excited with each other about the future. And that's so important to have that kind of fellowship time. I want to talk about that this morning in your morning cup of inspiration. It's so important that we not do life by ourselves. We have to be in community, don't we? I'm reminded of the story of the older gentleman that uh, went to church regularly, uh, and the pastor noticed that this gentleman hadn't been to church in a month or so. So the pastor made a point to go to his home, knocked on the door. Eventually, the old man came, opened the door, didn't say a word, just motioned to him to come in, and slowly went back to the chair as he was sitting in front of his fire. The pastor sat down in the chair next to him. Nobody said a word. They just sat and looked at the fire. Well, eventually the pastor got a tong from the hearth, reached in, pulled an ember out and set it on the hearth, and then sat back down. Well, that hot red ember slowly began to get colder began to turn gray and lost its heat and warmth. The pastor reached up, took the thong, and set the ember back into the fire again. And within seconds, it was burning red hot again. The pastor didn't say a word, got up, nodded by to the old man, and went on his way. That next Sunday, the old man was back in church. He got the message. We draw strength. We draw power. We draw heat and fire from one another. If we're by ourselves sitting on the hearth, we're going to go grow cold. We're going to grow gray, if you will. Listen to this verse in Ecclesiastes, and I'll leave you with this, the fourth chapter, 12th verse. Though one may be overpowered by another, Two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. You can't do things by yourself. A second person can help you hold off the enemy and encourage you. A third person can give you even more strength. So I want to challenge you today. Don't do life by yourself. Be a part of a community. We love you being part of Fearless Faith's community, and we hope that you find encouragement and strength and power here. But if you can find somebody or people in your surrounding community, in your neighborhood, in your church, it can only strengthen and encourage and empower you. God bless. I hope that helped you. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.